welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel i share everything beauty fashion and lifestyle content and i would love for you guys to join the family over at instagram as well i will leave my handle up here somewhere but um i actually wanted to share my glowy um spring makeup look and this look is something that i was wearing actually every day when i was in india and dubai um just recently when i was there in february and march and it was um just so light um super hydrating and um glowy and i just wanted to look like my skin minimalistic without like overdoing it with the makeup so let's get started all right so the first step that i do is this merit um stick this is actually a foundation and um concealer stick and it's super lightweight it is like second skin on when once i blend everything and wear this makeup now i am looking in this mirror here just in case you're wondering you can actually put this anywhere all over on your face you don't need to actually put a lot and so you'll see that i won't apply this everywhere um i'm just making like a few marks on my face as well as just wherever i kind of have some dark spots to conceal and cover up those spots and that's it um, so I'm not putting it everywhere on my face, um, but again, once I blend this in, um, it is going to look like second skin, it'll just be smooth. And the brush I'm using is actually by Merit. This is the number one brush and this is, oh my god, my favorite foundation brush. I've used a lot of other foundation brushes, I've used beauty blenders, still love my beauty blender, but for um the merit stick this blends so smoothly and flawlessly and it's so amazing so um i'm just blending this in down on my nose and then out and again i like to put it underneath my eyes even though i will apply a little bit of concealer um but it's just like a nice step again it is a two-in-one some people do use this as a bronzer there is multiple shades for so many skin tones and um Catherine powers she's the one who created this line it is minimalistic but luxurious affordable pricing um i was looking for clean vegan um skincare that was similar quality to like almost like a Dior, Chanel, or Tom Ford, right? But I wanted something that was super lightweight, that was um, very just clean, um, like no makeup makeup look. And now you can see just how gorgeous and flawless. It just looks like second skin, but better. It just looks like my skin, but better, right? And so that is what I want. And it takes literally five minutes, obviously, since I'm talking, um, this will be a little bit longer, but normally the concept of her creating this was during the COVID and um, to just, you know, busy, busy women on the go, moms, um, you know, just like busy with work, busy with kids. And you have, we have so many things going on and just like a quick five minute makeup, especially when we were working home and a lot of us still do. I work hybrid now. I was fully remote um, for during COVID and then last year became hybrid with my new job. So again, even on days when I'm at home, I still want to just do a quick makeup look, um, especially getting on Zooms and stuff with team members um, and you know, like business calls and things like that. So, um, so that is the first step. All right, so my second step I do um, is this Merit um, Bronzing Balm. This is a bronze balm, and I absolutely love this. This is for, like, days where I want to keep it super light, minimalistic, again. Um, and this is perfect. So, again, you can... The way you wear this is it's dual-sided, so you can see that I'm stroking it up this way, in this direction, and then turning it straight... To go like that and now you can see um and this one i'm wearing is in cn so that is the shade and i'm using the same brush again so again i can use this literally for everything and i'm just blending it in 
now i just like to contour the cheeks i'm not a really big contour person um but i just love how it blends seamlessly into my cheeks and you can already see my cheeks are naturally defined but this just defines it a little bit more now i could use this alongside my nose so i'll just show you um just if you want a little bit more of a contour um, underneath my chin to give more definition and just right up there around my forehead and then just blending all of this in and I just don't like a uh, reason why I got turned off by contour sticks or just contouring in general because it just looks it's just too heavy for me um, I feel like a lot of times it doesn't the products don't blend properly but this just blends seamlessly into my skin and again looks like second skin so love 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 this product for my super light days all right so the next step is um the merit um cheek colors these are bombs again and this one is in the color cheeky and it's kind of like this beautiful um like pink shade here and again you can use your fingers or you can just swipe it right across your face which is what I'm gonna do you can use this for your eyes you can use it for your lips so it is a multi-purpose bomb it's not just for the cheeks again I can use my fingers to blend it in but I am gonna go back in and blend it out um, with my merit number one brush and you can see it just gives a nice flush so the purpose of these bombs i have like actually four shades in different tones um but i just love that it just gives me a natural flush and again you can build upon it so i would say start light and then go heavier if you feel like it's not enough um, i'm just gonna do another swipe just to kind of get in a little bit more in that um top corner there and blend it in perfectly there we go so it just gives me a nice natural flush which is what I like especially for spring and summer just super lightweight just healthy glowy skin okay so the last step for my cheeks is the merit day glow this is a highlighting balm and again for super light days where I don't want heavy highlighter powders um, I use my merit stick um, so again you'll see and they have three shades this is the newest one um, that they came out with last year and it's like that almost like um that beautiful golden hour highlight and you can see it's it gives a natural beautiful highlight but without um being overly um dramatic which i like and it just gives a nice healthy like glow from within look and it feels so hydrating because um, the product also has squalene in it and so super light and absolutely hydrating and beautiful so that is how it looks there we go and I like to put a little bit on my nose too right here just where it uh, the sun hits just so that's where I usually put my highlighters across my cheek, um, inner corner of my eyes, and then right on my nose where I can just get um, that beautiful light. All right, so I am going to be using the Armani Luminous Silk Concealer, and I believe this one is in the 7.5 shade that I have. Um, I love this one uh, because it is super lightweight and very natural. Um, and I like to just put it in the inner corner and the outer corner right there is how I like to do it as well as where I have some redness and some dark spots around the corners of my cheek and anywhere else I have a little bit of pigmentation and that's it so and then I'll blend that in I do have my Dior um, skin correct concealer but this one is just a little bit more high high coverage medium to high coverage so these this i use on days like um if for events when i'm going out and i want a little bit more con um, um concealer um on under my eyes especially if i'm really tired and stuff 
um, but on super light days this is the one that I like to go to and then um, the brush I'm using is um, this is from Sephora, it's part of the Sephora collection is the Pro Concealer number 57 this is the concealer blending brush and it just buffs everything in so nicely Sorry, if I'm looking in this direction, I have my mirror right here just to make sure I'm getting everything and not missing. I want to make sure everything's blended. <laughs> um, and then I will go in and you can see it just blends so flawlessly. And then I like to go around and just make sure I blend the, the rest of my eyes. And this is like really good base for eyeshadow as well. So I don't use eyeshadow primer, I just use my concealer. And that is how I like to do it. So blending it all in. And you can see this brush is phenomenal. It just like literally just blends it in so naturally. You can, I use um, a beauty blender as well, but I personally love this brush um, it just buffs everything into my skin so nicely so it just depends on the day and the mood um, either I'll quickly grab my beauty blender um, or I'll use this so there we go and um, that is that all right so next I'm going to quickly do my eyeshadow and I am using this Dior um, the Dior Backstage Eyeshadow Palette, and this is in 001 Warm Neutrals. And you can see just very natural warm tones. Again, this is a perfect fat palette. Um, I got over the big palettes and just using a lot of color. Um, I think I just became more minimalistic and just more natural, neutral eyes. I do like a little bit of, you know, smoky eyes here and there and a little pop of color. But um, for the most part, um, I've just been loving more of the neutral shades. And again, it's like a good collection of your light shades and your dark shades, as well as there are a few matte colors and a few shimmers. So again, you can mix and play with this palette and create so many looks. But um, let me get my... Um, eyeshadow brush and the color that I'm gonna go with is actually this um, color right here I mean sorry this one right here and I'm not sure that's the prime color but I would want something super natural and neutral and light since we are in and we are in spring now so I just want to use this as the base I am actually gonna use another shade to kind of go over my eyes. There we go. So it's a little light, but I am gonna go over with another color. And that is my Chanel bronzer. <laughs> so I've been actually using this shade. It's like the perfect um, color especially um it matches my skin tone and complexion per perfect i can't even speak today perfectly anyways um so this is the lace beige in sunkissed medium and i discovered this last year um and this is such a beautiful color oh my god and it is perfect for the cheeks all over um but um i like to use this on my eyes so just tapping a little bit and then blending this all over my eyes. Sorry, my phone just keeps going off too. Um, so it just matches. You can see the difference, how it just blends in naturally to my complexion. And that is what I am wearing for eyeshadow. So I like to just keep it very natural and neutral and that's it, especially during the day. Just keep it as simple as possible. Less is more, um, is my motto. <laughs> and that is the look for my eyeshadow. And then that's just 
I'll just go in with um, mascara now. So for mascara, I am using the Merit um, Clean Lash Mascara. And again, you saw the theme here. It's a lot of Merit because it is so simple, minimalistic. It takes literally five minutes if I wasn't talking to you guys. But um, super natural and perfect for spring. So I am actually going to look in this mirror just to make sure I'm getting every lash. And I'll show you the difference. I love how clean like it literally says just creates a very clean look and actually i just realized i forgot to use my um eyelash curler but it's okay it's all good it still does the job i'm just bending my lashes a little bit more back And can see the difference here between the two just how it just makes my lashes look so long and big and I like to do the bottom lashes because I have small eyes and I like to just have a little pop and so to make my eyes stand out so that is how I like to do my eyes There we go. See how beautiful that looks? All right, so last for my eyes is actually eyeliner. And this is from the brand Kofi. It is a South Asian brand and they are available at Sephora. So I'm so excited and happy about that because I love seeing um, that representation, seeing my community, seeing myself in Sephora and using um, products that I've grown up with. Um, I have been wearing eyeliner since I was a baby, literally. And in our culture, um, a lot of times the reason why we were put eyeliner is because, um, you know, it's kind of getting rid of an evil eye. Um, and so that's why we would wear eyeliner and we would put, my mom would put it on our um, eyes and so I grew up wearing this a lot and we call it um kajal which is basically coal eyeliner eyeliner <laughs> and um so that's when this that's what this is and this is um very similar but it is clean and vegan so it doesn't irritate the eyes I'm a contact lens wearer and that's important to me because I don't want it to irritate my contacts when I'm wearing it also I've tried a lot of other eyeliners before and um, you know sometimes they can seep into the eye they can like burn the eyes and like get very irritated sometimes they're really stubborn and there's a lot of chemicals in them as well as hard to like get rid of it to wash off but I have no issues I've been using this for um, almost two months now and I really really like this a lot my cousin recommended it and so definitely wanted to give it a try because I love trying new stuff new makeup and um really really good eyeliner so if you're looking for a new um coal eyeliner it's also super jet black it doesn't move stays put and i really like it so i'm putting it in my lower um eyelid by the lash line and so i also like to put it underneath at the top but and do that um but that's okay and um Normally I like to use liquid eyeliner for the top and if I'm doing a winged look, um, again it's your preference, um, what works best for you or what you like, but um, I like to use the, the crayon version um, on my um, lower lash line. And uh, I just smudged a little bit of my concealer, which I actually just forgot um, to put my powder so let me do that now as well and I'll show you what I use for that but to conceal my concealer <laughs> um, and so it doesn't move and stays put but yes as far as eyeliner so it just gives like my small eyes like a pop and I really really like that okay now um, this is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. They do have other colors, but I got this free with my Sephora points um, as well as um, this Laura Mercier, um, what is it? The 
um, caviar stick eye color and strapless but um, I also do have my by Terry hyaluronic acid hydro powder and this one comes in not numerous shades as well so actually i am going to use this one versus my laura mercier but i did use this one in india and dubai because again i loved it because it was travel size and it was perfect didn't have to take up too much space but that's this is the one i'm going to use instead my by terry one um so just tapped a little bit on top of my lid and just to seal in that concealer which I actually forgot to do right after I put my concealer on and I love this so this is before I used to put powder all over setting powder all over and I realized it just makes it too matte and so I only apply it now to where I have applied concealer and just those just those spots just so that it stays put the concealer doesn't move and um it just gives a nice even balanced look so there we go now you can again if you wanted to put a lot more powder and then kind of um take it off as well but for the most part i um like to just put a little bit and make sure that um I don't have to do that and it doesn't create a big mess so that is the eyes so now we're gonna go into lips and I've been using which I use again all throughout India and Dubai I just love this color it's perfect transition um, from winter fall and winter into spring and summer it's a great shade for year-round also an amazing shade for um, brown women so it's this beautiful um mauvey brown shade and this is in the number 628 in pink bow and it's super hydrating it honestly feels like a bomb on my lips how beautiful is that super natural um and especially going into again spring and summer like to do some more a lighter very um juicy feeling textured um products i don't want it to be heavy don't want it to be matte where it looks dry and like you have cracked lips um i want it to be super hydrating and juicy so that is um the first base and then what i did was apply my ilia lip reviving balm on top of it just this balm is amazing by the way i've tried so many different ones i like to test and try different uh bombs just to see which ones actually work and i like and so far i really like this this one actually it stays super hydrated most of the day and super glossy which i also love and it just looks more youthful and um, really nice i do have their nighttime one which i use um, before going to bed you can use this alone but i like to layer it on top just to give it that more glossy look so as you can see how super glossy that is so that is my lips super glossy um absolutely hydrating now i do have the dior lip maximizer as well this is in the original they have new shades that i definitely want to check out for spring and summer so we'll be checking those out soon to share with you guys but for now this is the look now if i wanted to add this i can act actually add this as well just to be even more super glossy but it's a similar effect um this does have like the plumping tingling effect it's very cool um, tingling feeling but um, it doesn't do a massive plumping which again I like because I already have big voluptuous lips so don't need it to be extra big but that is um, another great option if you want something like that so that is the lips and last is the brows all right so last is my brows I do this last and this again is by Merit um, I was using um, crayons like eyebrow pencils and i've tried anastasia i've tried dior i've tried so many other ones um but it just looked like too drawn in i didn't like that i wanted to look supernatural 
um, but um, I used to have really thick brows and they were over threaded um, by the ladies when I used to go to and um, I really am trying to get them to grow back thicker um, so if you have any recommendations for um, lash uh, or I mean eyebrow serums let me know because um, I would love to get them fuller and thicker um, they still look nice but there are some gaps and I like to fill them in um, so they don't look too bad but still I want them to just look more natural fluffier or thicker and just wish I never touched them um, only like the middle that was because I did have a unibrow unfortunately I'm Indian South Asians have a lot of hair but anyways um, so I really love this um, Merit um, volumizing pomade and they have three shades this is the darkest shade and um, I just blend it in like this especially since I have oh, there we go um, a bit more light hairs here I really want to fill those in and then take it all the way so you can already see just like how natural but it just picks up the hairs so effortlessly and just creates that natural look without looking like I drew in my my brows which I didn't like at all um, so if you're looking for a brow gel um, I would recommend this one but again if you have any recommendations of other ones you think I should try please leave it down below in the description box and I will definitely check it out um, so yeah so definitely let me know right, so that is the final look super healthy and glowy and just really natural and light um, almost like a no makeup makeup look um, which I really like especially going into hotter weather don't want to feel like I'm melting or feel like I have makeup on which is why I love the Merit line I will um, link everything below and actually my final step is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir now I love this stuff to just give that extra um, glow and hydration and this will just seal and just set everything in so you just shake it up because it does have essential oils essential oils in them oh my gosh it just feels so good on the skin but also um, smells like a spa in a bottle due to the essential oils but I do have the big size which I just ran out of so I need to stock up and get the bigger size and actually I'm about to run out of this one too because this is how much I love this this is the travel size which again used every day in India to buy just spritz it on at the end to set my makeup seal everything in and just give it an extra hydration and glow perfect for on the go whenever you just need that boost and just like a flips your spirit so that is again the final look super glowy and nice and um yeah i really love um <laughs> this product all right so i need to get going i need to get on with my day um i need to do some filming so i have a spring haul that i want to show you guys so definitely need to get going and get on with my day get some lunch and then i'm gonna head to a coffee shop so i can just do some work as well it is so gorgeous and beautiful outside but um yeah so let me know what you guys think of this look um any questions about the products i shared i will leave everything in the description box and i will chat with you guys later <laughs>